Ursula Andress is a Swiss actress, former model and sex symbol, who's appeared in American, British and Italian films. She's best known for a breakout role as Bond girl Honey Ryder in the first James Bond film Dr. No. She later starred as Vespa Lind in the Bond parody Casino Royale. Her other films include The Southern Star, Fun in Acapulco, The Blue Max, Perfect Friday, The Sensuous Nurse, Slave of the Cannibal God, the Fifth Musketeer, and Clash of the Titans. The quintessential jet-set Euro starlet, Ursula Andress was born in the Swiss canton of Bern on March 19, 1936, one of six children in a strict German Protestant family. Although often seeming icily aloof, a restless streak early demonstrated itself in her personality and she had an impetuous desire to explore the world outside of Switzerland. For instance, she was tracked down by Interpol for running away from a boarding school at the age of 17. Andres was the third of six children, born to couple Anna and Rolf Andres, a German diplomat. Her father was expelled from Switzerland for political reasons, and her grandfather, a garden designer, took the role of being her guardian. She has a brother, Heinz, and four sisters, Erica, Charlotte, Gisela, and Katie. She went to school in Bern until she was 16, and speaks several languages, including French, German, and Italian. She studied art in Paris for a year, and then went to Rome, where she did jobs such as nannying children. The stunning young woman found her work as an art model in Rome. Andres was at a party when she first met a producer who offered her a screen test for a role in an Italian film. She was successful and appeared in The Sins of Casanova in 1955. She followed this with an American in Rome and was seen by a Hollywood executive who persuaded her to try her luck in Hollywood. Andress arrived in Hollywood in January 1955. In March she was signed to a seven-year contract with Paramount Pictures starting on $287 a week. The contract resulted in no acting roles due to her inability to learn English at the time. She said that she spent most of her time watching Marlene Dietrich movies. Andress did receive some publicity at the time for dating James Dean shortly before the actor's death. She bought herself out of her contract, and in March 1956 it was announced she signed to Columbia Pictures. She made no films for them either, but was Miss World Trade of 1956. That same year, at the age of 19, she met and had an affair with a fading matinee idol John Derrick, who left his wife Patty Bears and two kids for Ursula, even though she spoke almost no English at the time. In 1957 they eloped to Las Vegas. The new bride put her acting aspirations on hold for a few years thereafter. In 1962, the virtually unknown Swiss beauty was back on the set, playing opposite Sean Connery in the first movie in Ian Fleming's James Bond espionage novel series, Dr. No. Andra's role as Bikini Cad Honey Rider was somewhat brief, and her Swiss-German accent was so thick that her entire performance was dubbed by a voiceover artist. Nevertheless, her striking looks and smouldering screen presence made a strong impression on moviegoers, and immediately established her as one of the most desired women in the world, and as an ornament to put alongside some of the most bankable talent of the era. She swiftly appeared in films such as Fun in Acapulco and Four for Texas, both in 1963, alongside Elvis Presley and Dean Martin, respectively. In 1965, she was one of several European starlets co-starring in What's New Pussycat, a film that perhaps sums up mid-60s pop culture better than any other, written by Woody Allen, starring Allen himself and Peter Sellers, with music by Burt Bacharach, a title song performed by Tom Jones, and much on-screen sexual romping. Andress appeared in many more racy-for-their-time movies in both the United States and Europe, including The Tenth Victim in 1965, which saw her wear a famous ballistic bra and the Blue Max in 1966, where she was aptly cast as the sultry, insatiable wife 
of an aristocratic World War I German general. She also featured in Casino Royale in 1967, a satirical foray into the world of James Bond, and gave a sparkling performance in the TNA filled Crown Caper Perfect Friday in 1970. Roles as a prostitute kidnapped by outlaws in 1971 in Red Sun, a stewardess living on the edge and loaded guns in 1975, and a bombshell nurse hired to titillate a doddering millionaire in The Sensuous Nurse in 1975, all provided plenty of excuses to throw her clothes to the wind. In The Mountain of the Cannibal God in 1978, she was notoriously stripped and slathed in orange paint by a pair of nubiles. She took a more sophisticated role, in the film The Fifth Musketeer in 1979, as a conspiratorial mistress of King Louis XIV. In her personal life, Andres separated from Derek in 1964, and was divorced two years later, after falling in love with French superstar Jean-Paul Belmondo, on the Malaysian set of Up to His Ears in 1965. The relationship with Belmondo hit a wall in 1972, and she was next attached to her leading man from Motel of Fear, Italian heartthrob Fabio Testi. When that didn't work out, Andres jumped into the dating pool, sporadically involved with a host of Lotharios, including, but not limited to, Dennis Hopper, Franco Nero, John DeLorean, and Ryan O'Neill. In 1979, she began what would be a long-term romance with Harry Hamlin, her handsome young co-star from Clash of the Titans in 1981, in which it was cast predictably as Aphrodite. While subsequently travelling to India, Andra's belly began to swell out of her clothing and she felt nauseous. What at first seemed like a severe case of deli belly turned out to be a pregnancy, her first and only at the age of 43. Hamlin encouraged her to have the baby, a life-changing decision for a woman who until then refused even the responsibility of pets. And on May 19, 1980, the international sex symbol gave birth to a boy, Dimitri Hamlin, amid much hoopla. After the birth of a son, Andres scaled back her career, and now focused on slight European productions, as she was raising Dimitri in Italy. This meant turning down big film roles, including a big-budget Mel Brooks film, in lieu of appearing in Mexico in Flames in 1982. She played Aphrodite in 1981's Clash of the Titans, where she worked with Florence Olivier. During the making of the film, Andres was romantically involved with leading man Harry Hamlin, with whom she had a son. In 1982, she portrayed Mabel Dodge in the adventure film Red Bells, a guest starred on the shows like Manimal and The Love Boat. On television, she participated in the 1986 Enemy Award-winning miniseries Peter the Great and joined the cast of primetime soap opera Falcon Crest for a three-episode arc in 1988 as an exotic foreigner who assists David Selby in retrieving Dana Sparks from a white slave ring. Andres was also in Big Man the Diva in 1988, with Bud Spencer and Man Against the Mob, The Chinatown Murders, in 1989. Since the beginning of the 1990s, her acting appearances have been rare. She appeared in The Cave of the Golden Rose 3 in 1993, The Cave of the Golden Rose 4 in 1994, and Cree Master 5 in 1995. In 1995, she was chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest film stars in history. Her last role to date was playing Madonna in a low-budget 2005 Swiss feature with the English title of The Bird Preachers. She also appeared in the documentary Masterpiece or Forgery, the story of Elmer de Horry in 2008. In 2017, Andres sold her home in Beverly Hills at a considerable profit. As of 2020, Andres splits her time between an apartment in Rome and a house in Switzerland near her siblings. <laughs>